is up you guys sorry it's been so long i know i haven't made a video in a long time but i am here today to show you how i did this quick character lineup so if you want to check that out stay tuned want two months of free online art classes click the skillshare link below Alright, so starting the lineup, I kind of was thinking about different shapes and heights of how I wanted each character and uh, this first sketch pass is supposed to be super super rough. I just kind of wanted to get like the bend and the flow of all the characters and working on the f uh, basically just the shape that I want and then really measuring up and thinking about how I want their hair. If my character is a little bit wider, then I made their hair a little bit thinner. If they're thinner, I made their hair a little bit wider and kind of just balancing out their shapes as I go along. For the second sketch pass, this is where I'm kind of figuring out where the anatomy is coming into, kind of drawing around the forms and kind of seeing where I want straight lines versus curved lines. Um, and you're gonna see me do a lot of different passes of this sketch. I didn't realize until I watched how I did the speed paint, how many passes I actually go through, but you'll find out. But this is just a second pass just to kind of clean up those sketch lines to really understand the shape. And then I am also, for this next sketch pass, focusing on the anatomy of the body again and really trying to get the clothes to fold around um, their form. I am also adding a little bit more detail, seeing what patterns I might want on each of their clothes and just kind of cleaning up the under sketch and playing around with more of the edges rather than the shape as a whole. Here's where you're gonna probably start to see me get frustrated with my little triangle girl here. She is being a tough one when it comes to how I wanted her to look. Her head was starting to look too small and then I was like, oh, her neck looks weird. And then I try to switch it around to see if that would help um, guide her shape a little bit better. And I think I switched some of the characters around too later. So once I got a little fed up with her, I went and continued working on the last two girls because it's really good to take breaks when you're frustrated with something and just come back to it later rather than to just stop. Um, I feel like that wastes a lot of time. So here you'll see me detailing out these girls. And then I decided to add a little fanny pack to her because I thought it was a cute thing that uh, Vance is doing lately is to wear it around your chest rather than your waist. And so I kind of added that, which gave me some hope back for her character. So here I'm finally cleaning her up for like a third or fourth sketch pass. And then uh, I switch them around to see how they look. I liked how the middle two characters look together, but compared to the outside characters, I think that it just made it look a little bit too funky. Like the two smaller people were on one side and the two larger people were on the other, even though um, the one on the left is still larger than the middle one on the right. Uh, but I just ended up switching it back because I like the way that looked better. And this pass, you're gonna see me I think this is the one where I wanted it to be my final line work, but then I wasn't satisfied and did another line pass over it. You don't have to be crazy like me and do this many line passes over and over again, but I did because I have anxiety and I'm a perfectionist and I just needed it to look cleaner. So here's the first kind of line work that you'll see me doing. Basically, I'm just focusing on making the lines as even as possible. Uh, I'm trying to work on doing line work that's all one size versus uh, working with a finer tip pen that will increase based on the pressure you use. So this is kind of my pen that doesn't do that. Also, a little disclaimer, I am by no means a professional character designer yet, but I am hoping to be working in the industry after I get out of art school. It's my last year, my senior year, so I'm just trying to make it through. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around. I know I make like two videos a year, but it means a lot to me that you guys are still like keeping up and following me and I should make more videos this year so definitely stay tuned but I wanted to kind of say that uh, this is just my technique and you guys just take what you want from it and I'm happy to share it with everybody so basically this is my last and final line pass um, I'm really focusing on 
the detail. You guys can't really tell right here because the white Procreate records with speed paints, but I'm zoomed in making sure that all the lines are as clean as I want them and that it's basically the same line width as I'm zoomed into it and trying to make sure that the end of my line doesn't taper too much, but only slightly when I need some sharper edges. But yeah, basically this is going to be my last line pass. I'm just making sure that everything is even. And I'm sorry I did so many passes, but usually the more you do, the cleaner your art looks. So if you don't feel satisfied with something, just do another line pass over it. And normally that will help correct some of the things and you'll notice some things that you might have been missing. If you look where her longboard is behind the character I'm doing currently, the blue that I originally wanted the line to be, it turned into another sketch pass because I had to fix her longboard. So that's probably another reason why I remember doing another line pass over this just because I wanted to make everything look more clean and uniform. All right, so now we're going into color. Basically, I draw outside the lines and then clean up the outside with the eraser. I tried to put all the skin for each girl on the same layer and I put all their clothes, like the shirts go all in one layer and then the detail on top of the shirt color goes all in one layer. I try to keep it like that, but sometimes it does get a little mixed up, but it's, it's fine for um, something a little bit more simple like this where I'm not planning on doing a crazy amount of detailed work, just kind of doing some color filling and maybe some really simple shading. I just wanted to make a lineup real quick because it's been a while since I've actually done a full lineup that I really liked. So that was kind of my idea is that I wanted it to be more of the skater style. Here I'm just doing like the hair and the brows and I start on the boards basically doing the same exact technique just coloring over the lines and going back and zooming in to erase everything. I found it, I used to do the technique where I filled in the lines and then filled in that color in the middle where it was still white, but that takes way longer. So now I just color outside the lines and erase. Where it looks like I'm coloring inside the lines now, I'm actually just coloring behind the layer. So that's why it looks like I'm doing them inside the lines, but yeah. So I'm cleaning up the shoes and then after this I'm going to start adding detail on a clipping mask on top of the layers. So that's how you'll see um, me do the shorts, the little black pockets, and then just little things like the eyes and the tongue on some of the characters. So those are clipping masks over their skin layer. So here is where I'm going to start shading them. I have another clipping mask that's set to a multiply layer. Um, so that way I can do a slight amount of shading and it will sync with the color underneath it to create kind of this uh, toned down version of itself. So basically on this part, I'm focusing on where the light's hitting them from the upper left and um, detailing the clothes as well as adding more multiply mask on top. And then I also did a soft brush, another multiply mask over all of them to give them a dark gradient that starts dark at the bottom and lightens as it goes up. And I think it's more of a pink or peach color because I thought the warmth kind of fit them really well. And right now I'm just kind of detailing their boards to make them a little bit more individualized because I wanted them to all have like this different style that contrasts with their colors and yeah let me know what you guys think of the end result and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with definitely tag me in some of your art on Instagram I love to see what my followers come up with especially if they learn from my videos or anything so definitely do that as well and thank you for watching you guys I will see you later